Hi, Klaus. It's Steve. I hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to just do a brief introduction for the final evaluation, which is due at the end of week seven. And the final evaluation is really a partnership between you and your host supervisors. So you'll meet, you'll set up a meeting with your host, host supervisor virtually, whether that's through Zoom, WebEx, Google Meet, phone, what have you. And you're going to uh, discuss the evaluation. Now I'll be sending your host site supervisors a copy and instructions for the final evaluation, probably the end of next week, which would be week number six or the middle of next week definitely to give to give them enough time for both of you to uh, effectively meet and discuss it. So we have here, you can see the definition, we're kind of defining what this is. So it really is a, a performance assessment, a learning assessment. We kind of want you to talk about any challenges that you might have experienced in the internship and how you work through those challenges what growth occurred of course that's what we're focusing on this week in week number five so growth development learning performance challenges successes the whole works i will try to provide you i think what i'll do is post uh image shots screenshots of the evaluation on on the uh, announcements so that you can actually see how exactly you're going to be evaluated. I think that's important. I recommend a couple prep items as you get ready for your final evaluation. So one of the things that you, you should strongly do is go back and revisit your learning objectives. Look at those learning objectives. Um, have they changed at all? Why have they changed? How are you progressing with achieving those objectives? Have there been any bumps in the road or obstacles that have gotten in the way of you fulfilling your learning objectives? Then you want to kind of look at the quality of your, your work performance. Do you, has your supervisor given you feedback as to the quality of your performance? Are you meeting the ex their expectations? And has substantive learning taken place? Meaning, I'm kind of talking about deep learning here that you would be able to, if I asked you, tell me about what you learned in your internship, you would be able to effectively communicate that or articulate to me that to me, or say an employer or a graduate program. And then I want you to maybe contemplate the joys and frustrations of this experience. That's kind of the reflection element we've, we've kind of had interwoven throughout this course the, the first five weeks. So kind of looking at what have been some of the, the pro or happy moments and maybe what were some of the more moments of crisis or frustrations or frustration you may have experienced. I kind of piggybacking off of that, you know, look at these questions I posed here doing a self-evaluation, looking at these questions and really assessing or evaluating uh, responses to these questions. How, what areas have you been effective? How have you demonstrated uh, specific skills? What, what skills have you really nailed down pretty well? How well have you met your learning objectives? We already talked about that what you have learned and how it's useful to your personal and professional life. This is where I really want to hear from you as to how this internship experience is really connecting you to your personal and professional life in what ways. And is there any change? What's something you would do differently in your internship if you could go back? And then finally, just a quick reminder that the evaluation is due on Sunday, 
June 21st at 11.59 p.m. And the evaluation has to come directly from your host, host site supervisor. So they'll want to email it to me directly at my email that you see there, s.young7 at snhu.edu. As always, please let me know if you have any questions and keep up the great work.